Hello everyone, this is video 6 on how I went about producing this Krevnov style cabinet. It's based on the article in the Fine Woodworking magazine, issue 208. I did some slight modifications to the featured cabinet in the issue, like replaced the glass doors with bird's eye hue and pine panels. Now back to the back panel. For the joints, the Aussie jig is just not that useful in this situation, because I can only get one dowel to fit in the jig. It's too close to the corners if I try to fit a second dowel into the joint. Instead, I'll use the Festal Domino for the joint. I think that one domino is just as good as two dowels. So what I'll do now is work out where each domino is going to go, then mark it so that we can do some cutting. As you can see, cutting with a domino is pretty straightforward and easy. Much less calculations and fussing about compared to most of the traditional joints used for this situation. If you're wondering what the brown piece is for, it's just a pack I use to lift the domino 1mm higher to centre it with the cut. After the cutting, what I do now is dry fit the panel so I can mark out where the veneer board will sit on the frame. I move the frame up and down to try to get the big best figure to show through. I'll be cutting a half inch slot into the frame so I will then make the board 10 millimeters larger on all four sides. I then use a pencil to mark out where I will be cutting this board on the table saw. While the frame is still together I use a half inch slot cutter to cut out a slot which will hold the veneer board in place. When using the router table, I always do a double pass to ensure that I cut everything out correctly. Nothing worse than having to go back and redo a section that you've missed. The next step is to cut the veneer board to size. This is my homemade zero tolerance table saw sled. It's really easy to use. You just line up the pencil marks on the sled and start cutting. I then give the board a good sand, starting at 120 all the way through to 320 grit sandpaper. You have to be careful not to sand off too much. This is because the veneer is only 0.67mm thick. I've been known to sometimes sand through the backing board. It's not, an ex not a pleasant experience. Once the sanding has been done, I then glue together the back panel. Again I use Type Bond 3 as a glue and again the Bessie K body clamps are an absolute joy to use. Nothing fancy with the glue up. You have to check that the panels is nice and flat once you've got the clamps tightened. Otherwise you're going to have big problems in the next step of the glue up. I'm checking here with a straight edge to ensure that the panel is flat. While we're waiting for the panel to dry, I cut a rebate on the back of the cabinet. I use a slot cutter to cut a slot the same thickness as the back panel. I use a different method to the magazine. I'm treating the cabinet like it's a big box with a thick base. I thought I had a pretty big router table, but in this situation, the table was about 3 inches too short, which made this process pretty difficult. Once the back panel is dried, we can then give the back panel a good sand. I sand from 80 grit through 120, 180, 240, then with 320 grit sandpaper. You have to be careful not to hit the veneer board because that's already been sanded to 320 grit. I then dry fit the top cabinet. Sometimes I wonder why I make videos. It takes me about two to three times longer than usual because I muck around with the camera and redo bits that didn't shoot well. Then there are moments like this where I turn the cabinet round so that I can show you what the cabinet looks like. Bugger! Should have just left it without showing you what it looks like in the inside. Wow. 
Well, that's the cabinet. I just want to show you, give you a good look of what the bird's eye hue and pine veneer looks like. It's one of my favourite timbers in the world. Look at the figure. Absolutely amazing. In the next video, we make the doors and get them ready for the cabinet. Remember, if you like this video, like us on Facebook. You can find us by searching Timberbits or hit the subscribe button on YouTube. Thank you.